we're looking at approximately 130 lines of 1A2. This is located in my central office and is connected to telephones on the other side of the wall, which I will show at the end of this video. At this point, 75-80% of this key system is wired. The pink connecting blocks that we're looking at is where the cross connects from the line card to this telephone or to a multiple block is being done. At the very end are some intercom and spatial control type modules. These are the power supplies for the 600 series key system. I have a total of three of the 90 B2 power supplies. Each of the power units has the ability to have 10 600 series panels plugged into it. These two panels with the relays at the front of the card are intercom panel. Those are 19 station intercoms and that panel is what's called a 641 panel. The panel next to it is a 642 series panels and those contain spatial type line cards music on hold, tie lines and other auxiliary equipment. I also have a real, fairly rare multi-link intercom which is a 626 panel that we're zoomed in on right there. And of course it's got the wiring block to the phones. Here is a small view of some of the 66 blocks. There are two types of 66 blocks on this wall. 66 M150 which is a 50 pair block and then the 66 BM125 which is a 25 pair block. I'm zooming in on it right now. On this wall is 58 vertical rows of 66 blocks. These 66 blocks have terminated on them several hundred pairs for the dial tone from the switching system and then some tie cables to other backboards located in the building as well as several hundred key telephones are tied down to these blocks. The gray blocks that you see at this point is connected to some 584C panels. Due to running out of wall space, I terminated 105 lines of the 584C panels on the M125 blocks. This is not a typical installation in that aspect. However, I'm only having two to three lines on each line card, so this works out very well and reduces the amount of space needed to terminate the additional 100 plus lines. And again, we're looking at the 620 panels and the 641, 642, and so forth. Here I am displaying some diode matrix blocks, two different types, as well as the yellow boards that has special service equipment connected to it. And then below that are the green backboards and that is the cables that go to the step-by-step -step and the number three crossbar system.
Here's a view of the cables that would be going into the bottom of the 66 blocks. And there are many hundred of them. The grain boards that we're looking at has the first two rows of blocks is 400 tie pairs. At this point I have about 250 or so of them cross-connected to the line cards in the 620 panels or to the 584C panels that were discussed previously. I'll zoom in on some hundred pair cables that are connected to the backboard within my residence. The cross connects you see are lines going to telephones within the house or to an adjacent building which would pass through the house. Here I am showing the 66 blocks that are used for multiple appearances of the same line. The gray blocks have one lug that connects to the KTU and then the other five lugs are capable of being cross-connected to telephone sets. So if you have a system that has a lot of line, a lot of telephones with the same line appearance, you would run a cross-connect from the 620 panel to one of these blocks and then from this block you would then cross connect to the telephone stations as required. I have approximately 70 telephones on the first three lines of this system throughout my property. I have multiple satellite terminals and uh, lamp repeaters in these satellite closets and terminals. Here you can see where there's a mass amount of cross connects and within my telephone switching office I also have one line that appears in all of the telephones as well as in the other buildings all of the phones within that building has their own dedicated line and then each individual telephone set has its own telephone number as well so if I had a standard six button 2565 phone in my application Line 1, 2, and 3 would be common. Line 4 would be the line for that building. And then line 5 would be the line for that one specific individual telephone set. And you can see the mass amount of cross connects that's in this setup. There's thousands of feet of jumper wire that's going between the KTUs and telephones. And I'll zoom in on some of the additional telephones that has cross connects. The blocks we're looking at are connected to telephones in my telephone display room. We're looking at two of the 620 panels. Each panel is eight lines, and each of those 400 KTUs has the ability to operate 20 telephone sets without a lamp repeater circuit or better known as a lamp extender. Other than the first four line cards, uh, the rest of these only has half a dozen phones or so connected to each line. The cross connect reels up above the 620 system uh, is how the bell system used to uh, leave cross connect wire in the telco room closets so that when a change was made they did not necessarily have to always have wire on them. Here is the display room with my key telephone system uh, phones. We're zoomed in on the 851 series wall phones and then the 2564 and 2565 and the 564 and 565 and then the 30 button call directors down here in the bottom. As you can see there's a black call director, a red one, yellow, green and so forth. Each of these call directors is wired on its own cable which is a 100 pair cable 
or 200 conductors. Each of the 30 buttons will be at least 70% of the phone will be connected to lines which was on the previous part of this video. And as I get closer down here, you're looking at the 852 series telephones. So we have a turquoise, a white, a gray, a red. And then we're looking at some ITT 2564 sets in colors. And then we get into the Western Electric sets in colors. And then again back to the 30 button call director, the one in pink. I have also some 18 button call director telephone sets. And these are also connected. And then here's some ITT 6 button telephones in color. And more 851 wall phones above it. And then I have what I call my NIC knacks. These are just items that I've collected over the years of being in the telephone business. Most of this stuff is just odd one-off items but it was all used in the telephone business at one time or another. And I have both wet bell system and non-bell system equipment. These are some 18 button concentrator telephones and I'll show the concentrator equipment later. Then I have ITT and Western Electric telephones. And then above that I have some 107A and B loudspeakers. In addition to having some PCI, which is Precision Communications 4B speaker phones. And then I have, of course, my Western Electric 4A speaker phones in all of the colors. And these are also connected to phones within this room. Then here are some of the 2852 telephone sets, and then the 2830 desk sets, and then I've got rotary dial and touch tone card dialers, as well as some Touchmatic 32, some Tor Northern Telecom Logic sets, and some Stromberg telephone sets, and then I have a few 20 button key telephone sets. In touch tone and rotary. Here is a Western Electric 30 button call director style speaker phone. Has a number three control or speaker phone, microphone, and an amplifier. I do have a speaker for it that is not in the photo and I also have a 55 control unit to make this telephone operational. Here is a close up of the individual KSUs. I have over on the left side a 551C, the next to that a 551B, then next to that a 551A, and then an ITT601A. They're connected to the pink backboards below them as well as there's a 200 pair tie cable to the other side of the wall for the key system and over on the pink boards on the right side is more tie cables to the main key system as well as a 6A intercom. The blue boards are cables to the call directors only. So the first six rows of 66 blocks are connected to call directors. Each of the row has two telephone cables on it. Each one of them cables is a hundred pair cable and has a 30 button call director connected to the other end of it. I do not have all of this connected yet. At the top of the bay I have a 247 intercom connected with a 207 selector and a transfer relay to extend it to 19 lines. Below it is a various KTUs, most of them a 227 series for auxiliary services and control. 
Then I do have a conference circuit, a tie line circuit, and then below that I have the concentrators. These connect to 18 or 30 button telephones that has only a small cable going into them and uh, these are connected between the telephone and the KTUs. Below that is some 1A1. We're looking at a 239 panel and then a 238 panel. Between these two panels there are 20 lines of wire spring relays and then below that are the 584C panels. There's approximately, I think, 105 lines, 8 times 13. Down at the very bottom, we have the power supplies that run the equipment in this bay. Here is the rear of the 584 panels. And then we're getting into the KTUs, 238 on the bottom, 239 on the top and then the auxiliary KTUs for other applications. These are all wired over to 66 blocks on the wall that I showed you earlier. Here is some of the card dialer telephone sets. I have a blue one that I have yet to assemble. Here is some of the 66 blocks that are connected to telephone sets. As you can see, one of the 66 blocks has got metal clips that connect the left two rows or columns to the right two columns. This 66 M150 block has two cables connected to it. One 25 pair cable on the left side and one on the right side. The first five lines are cross connect are the same on both telephones. The cross connects on blocks next to it, which I'll zoom in on, is also two additional telephones, but the lines are not the same appearance on that phone. And I have approximately 225 cables with telephones connected to the end of it.